That's the battery of a Nexon E18. It's a storage device, a rack mounted storage device. Here is what it looks from the front. It has two controllers, that's the back, you see the two controllers. And here you can see the battery inside the controller. Now, Did you make your guess? What did you say? Fifty dollars? One hundred? Two hundred? Three hundred? Well, you can buy these batteries on eBay used for five hundred dollars. And uh, I heard it, I didn't found it in the, uh, in the internet, but uh, the new price is about eight hundred dollars when you buy it new from the manufacturer. Okay, let's have a look what's inside and maybe we can fix this battery for a little bit less money. Now that's the PCB and as you can see it's nothing special, it's not even custom made, it's just one of these two cell balancer PCBs you can buy on AliExpress or wherever. And uh, this is the schematic diagram. It seems to be a Ricoh chip uh, R5460 which is a two cell balancer and a battery controller chip. They just added a, a couple of additional MOSFETs uh, and besides of that it's the original schematic diagram from the, uh, from the data sheet. They also added this NTC uh, resistor and that's it. I said AliExpress, well here is one example, you can have it for 79 cents. Uh, it doesn't have the NTC resistor, but well, probably that resistor costs $800, I don't know. So I think I will just replace the two batteries, the two cells and then that battery is happy again and will work for another couple of years and it will not cost me $800. Okay, 
Thanks for watching. Thank you.